Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our one Taiji lecture a week public lecture from the European Taiji Culture Center. The center is dedicated to the dissemination of Chinese traditional culture overseas. The lectures are given basically every week. We will provide public lectures on traditional culture, such as traditional Chinese medicine, Tai Chi, Chinese art and sinology, etc. You are welcome to join us and also welcome to invite more friends to join us. My name is Lei. I'm the moderator of today's lecture. Mrs. Tong Qingmei is our technician today. The topic of today's lecture is Sun Style 38 Step Tai Ji Quan by Master Terry Ye. Master Ye is the founder and chief instructor of De Yin Tai Ji Institute and the chairman of the British Health Qigong Association. Today, he will introduce us the steps 38 to 31 to 38 of Sun Style's 38 Step Tai Ji Quan. Now the floor is yours, Master Ye. Thank you, thank you, Ms. Chang. Uh, thank you everyone for coming back and uh, I hope you had practiced your uh, Sun Style Tai Chi uh, after the last five sessions and time going very quickly. Time has gone so fast. Blink of an eye is already like the last session, six months down the line. So uh, yes, I hope you enjoyed so far the training of the Sun Style uh, Tai Chi, uh, 38 step in which we've done 30 postures. Now we've only got eight postures left, still quite a lot, but hopefully uh, we, are, we will manage to get through the whole uh, last eight postures. And then you will get a fuller picture of uh, the Sun Style 38 and hopefully you'll be able to use uh, the recording. Uh, I don't know how long it's gonna be online for, but I'm sure it's gonna be for some time so that you can hopefully take benefits of the recordings and use them as your revision. Hopefully, even if you don't really get the whole of the movements, you can still go back and use the recording and to try to consolidate your practice, okay? And then hopefully in future, we'll meet again and then we will do more in-depth training on it, okay? So before we start, let's do some warm-up exercise, everyone. Get ready. Relax, focus, gently take a step to your left, show the width. Bring your hands to the front, raise them, turn and push, tilt your head back to look up. Then open, come down. Lift. Push. Down. Lift, push, down, lift again, push, down. Once more. Down. Interlock your fingers. Lift your hands, turn, push out and turn your head. Come in, push and turn to the other side. Come in, push and turn. Come 
in. Push and turn. In. Push and turn. Once more. In, press your hands down until the head's to the side with it. Turn your palms and come back up. Press until to the other side. Come up. Press and tilt. Come up. Once more, press and tilt. Then turn, lift, turn it over, open, press down. Turn your hands forward. Hook up, rise. Palm in. Push. Down. Sideways hook up. Arm in, push out, down, hook, in, push, down. In, push, down. Okay, slowly bring your hands back to the front. And then rise up, bring the hands to the waist. Turn and push. Back. The other side. Come back. Push. Back. Push. Back. Again, push. Back. Once more, push. Back. Down. Up with the left arm, stretch. Open the other side, stretch. Open. Stretch. Okay. 
Turn to look behind and hold. Come back. The other side. Come back. Slow down. Up. Down, try and squat as low as you can. Lift. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Ah, interlock your fingers, lift up, press down and bend forward. And go as slow as you can, keeping your legs straight. Turn your palms over, slowly coming back up by curling your back, starting from the lower back, the waist, the chest, the neck. Up. Turn and press, bend forward, down, keep your legs straight, turn your palms over, come back up, starting from the lower back, the waist, the chest, the neck. Press. Turn. Up. Once more. Press down. Turn. Up. Lift. Separate. And press. Good, and then take a step to your left, a wider step, open, toes in, toes out, hook back, look up. Forward. Toes in, 
toes out. Go back. Look up. Forward. Toes in. Toes out. Go back. Look up. Forward. Once more, toes in. Toes out. Go back. Look up. Open, toes in, toes out, go down. Open, the other side. Open, down. Open once more. Down. Open. Open. Rotate your wrists and your left ankles. And the other ankle. Okay, relax. Right, okay, good. So hopefully we're all warmed up now. And last lesson, we went through the, la uh, the eight, posture, eight postures and end with an opening and closing hands. So we're gonna carry on from here today. Now, the first posture from after opening, closing, in some style is quite uh, sort of a unified. Very often is we either do it with a single whip or a low si ao bu. So in this situation, in this case, we're gonna have a single whip. Dan bian. Okay, so how do we do it? Let me just show you first, then we can all do it together, all right? So remember, we finish off with the feet quite closely together. All right. And we put the hands. And at this point here, after we have made a turn, you would have the body weight slightly shifted to your right. Now, I'm doing your mirror version so that your weight is slightly to your right. So your left foot is free, more or less, to make a step. So remember the single whip we did before? Push hands, step out, and open. Then the end. Okay, good. Okay, this is a single whip. That's quite easy, all right? So we, shouldn't, we, we don't need to spend too much time on it. Just have to do it a couple of more times. Just to remind ourselves, okay? Are you ready? Remember, right foot takes a bit of weight, left foot slightly free. Then simply just push the hands out, step aside. Dan bien, push. Excellent. Push dan bien. Okay, good. One more time. All right. 
step and push. También. Excellent. Okay, good. What is the next posture? The next posture is called Shang Bu Qi Xing. Step up, seven stars. Now we were facing this side, let's say. All right. So what do we do next? We actually turn and bring the hand, bring the, the right hand down forward and up to form a cross hand with the left. Okay, so it is quite easy. Right hand, circle down, circle up, and cross hands like this. Okay, some easy, let's do that together, okay? So from here, we turn to the left, all right? Are you ready? Just don't worry about the step first. Step is quite easy. So turn, circle down, circle up, cross hands. Good. Okay, good. One more time. One, two, three. Okay, and steps. Quite easy, all right? From here, we just simply circle the left hand down, bring the left toes in slightly and turn your hips while we bring the hands down one. Toes out, two. This time it's becoming straight. And then as we cross our hands, we step behind, three. Okay, good. So it's quite easy. All right, good. So I'm going to turn around. I'm going to lead from behind in the right direction. Okay, so from this way, from single whip to dan uh, not single whip, sorry, uh, to, uh, from open and closing to single whip. Dan bien. Ready? Push and step. Open. Shift waist, dan bien. Shang bu qi xiang, right hand circle down, right toes in, turn. Left toes out, carry on circling. Step up and cross hands. Shang bu qi xiang. Okay, good. Let's do that one more time. Push and step, open. Toes in, hands down, turn. Toes out, two. Step in, cross hands, three. Excellent. Okay, good. So give me one second. Okay, good. Next one. Next one is called Tui Bu Kwa Hu. Step back and ride a tiger. Okay, let's just do the step first. Let me just show you the step first. If I was to do it as a mirror, okay, I would be like this. Okay, so I would just step back. Step in, rise up, with a toes tucked up. Okay, quite easy. All right, so let's follow me this time. I'm gonna face here and you can follow me from the screen. Okay, good. This time it's gonna be the correct side, all right? So from here, Right foot, step, step back, follow, retreat, then rise up. 
Okay, good. See, it's quite easy, yeah? <laughs> Probably the hardest part is the hand. The hands goes like this. If I was to do as a mirror version, the hand goes like this. One, right hand goes down, goes out, left hand just gently brush down, yeah? And then just press. Okay, can you see? Circle, brush down, brush to the side, press. To where? To just about the belly button slightly below. Not too low, just about the belly button and a touch lower. Okay, and then you just bring the hands up slightly. Okay, good. Let's do that together, all right? Cross hands, right hand in front. One. Turn your waist to your right. Brush your left hand down and raise your right hand. Brush it to the side and press the right hand down to where? To the front of your belly button or slightly lower. And then just rise slightly. Okay, that's all. Okay, good. But how do we actually get the steps together? Let me just show you first. I'm gonna show you from this angle so you can see clearer. That is the correct side that I'm doing, all right? Step back, one, two. Step back in, three. And then rise up, four. Okay, watch me once more. One, set back two. Circle, sideways, press. Step in three as you press. Rise up, four. Okay, go back to that side. And then we go, I'm going to do be your mirror, okay? Are you ready? From here. So, one, two, three, four. Oh, toes up, sorry. Toes up, yeah? Okay, four toes up. Okay, that's the slight unique differences between Sun style and Yang style. Yang style, when you do standing on one leg, you tend to have your toes point down. But when you come to Sun style, you tend to lift or tuck up your toes. Okay, good. Let's do that again on this side. Uh, okay, good. From here, we're going to do the right, correct direction. Okay, are you ready? One, two, three, four. Good. Okay, good. All right. We we'll go back to the correct side. This time I'm going to do it with the right side, which is stepping forward with the left, follow with the right foot. You are still going that side, everyone. One, two, three, four. Excellent, four, okay, good. This is step back, ride a tiger. Next one is Zhuan Shen by Lian. Okay, turn around and sweep, lotus kick. Now, let me just show you how it's done first, and then I can give everyone some options, okay? Because this posture is slightly more complicated 
that requires us to actually make a 300, nearly 380 degree spin, followed by a swing slap kick. Okay, so how do we do the spin? First of all, from here, we need to spin the body behind, turn around back to the same direction. And then we swing the right leg from the left up and down from the right. Okay, so from here we go down. Okay, good. Flap. From here, hand goes to the other side. The foot, bah, stop. Bah. Okay. Some people might ask, oh dear, <laughs> that is difficult. Okay. So I can't slap because what we want to do is to use both hands, take turn to slap on the face of the right foot, okay? Which is quite difficult. You need to be quite flexible. However, we, all, we know not everybody can do that. And we don't want to hurt ourselves trying too hard, okay? So what can we do? Quite easy. Instead of trying to straighten your legs and go bang like this, you can just simply do like this. Slap on your knees, okay? But what we want to do though, is because the hand goes to here, when we slap, we still want to go back up to the other side, ends up the same. We can trick a little bit. We can do a little trick on the knee, but remember we need to keep the hands done. So what can we do like this, okay? Watch me. So do it the simplest way. All right, watch. Step back. Good. Okay. So that you can choose. Either you can do or. You decide which one is easier for you, okay? So, but because this is an introductory session, we'll just do the easy way. The next question is, some people say, but I still can't really seem to spin. What can I do? You know, I can't do like, dum, like this. Before I do the swing kick, we always have solutions to it. <laughs> the next one is, we don't need to spin because it is an introductory session. So therefore, we haven't got much time to go into detail of how we can learn to spin in effectively. So therefore, today, I would do the simplest way, okay? After we stand up uh, to ride the tiger, yeah, stand up to ride the tiger, all we have to do is the raised leg, to number one, to step behind, one. And then sit back, raise the front foot and step in to follow and swing the hands to the side. Easy, okay? So watch me from this side so you can see it, okay? This time is the correct side, left foot, right hand. Step back, wow. Sit back, step in, two. That's all we need to do, okay? Let's do that together, everyone. So from here, standing up, ride the tiger. Step back, one. Sit back, swing arms, follow two. Swing your legs and slap, three. Remember, we only slap on the knees, all right? So this is another slightly easier option, all right? 
So we don't have to worry about learning the detail because this is quite a difficult posture. As well as doing it correctly, as well having, as well as having good balance, you need to ensure that we don't hurt ourselves. But because the time is quite restricted today, so therefore we won't go too detailed on that. But as I say, in future, when the time comes, we will hopefully introduce a uh, in-depth training session. Then I'm sure you guys can sign up and join in and then we can explore more in detail. Okay, let's do that one more time, everyone. At this time, I'm going to the right side, left foot in front, right foot follow behind, cross your hand. Step back one, sit, circle, brush, step in and press down two, rise up three. Step back one, swing hands two, step in. Swing your legs and slap your knees, three. Good, okay. Let's do it one more time, okay? Ready? From here. One. Two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, good, excellent. Okay, good. So let's get on to the next one. Next one is one gong shu hu, hold the bow and shoot the tiger. Okay, one gong shu hu. Uh, you'll find in the YouTube video that comes out in the introductory page, introduction page, or content page, it should have now, it should now have the list of names in it. Okay, good. But how do we get there? <laughs> Remember, we have just slapped over from the right to the left, okay? So now, what next? How do we get to Wang Gong Shu Hu? Let me just show you on the hand movement. First thing, your left hand, or your right hand, sorry, your right hand, circle and open to just about uh, the side, slightly wider than your shoulders. But without stopping, both hands circles down to the front of your abdomen and turn the palms up, two. And then slowly bring both palms up past the front of your chest. And then pounds diagonally forward to the left. You see, suddenly my hands my left hand is slightly behind the right hand, although it's next, still next to it. The right hand still like slightly behind the left, that'll be fine. And it is still next to it, okay? So let's do that together. This time, I'm gonna do as a mirror image. Hands to your left, hands to your left, good. One. Two, three, right slightly behind your left hand, four. Good, and slightly angle to your left, remember. Okay, good. Okay, good, let's do that once more. To your left, remember, your left hand, I'm your mirror image. This is your left, this is your right hand. Right hand open one, both hand circles down two, turn upwards, both hands up three, and pounds four. Okay, good. So how do we actually do the uh, sort of steps? 
Okay, good. Remember, we have just slapping kick on this side. So what do we do? We actually, let me show you on this side so you can see in the correct side, correct side, okay? So we start from the right and we slap the right knee and bring hands to the left. The first thing we do is squat down, step diagonally to the left and open the right hand one. Slowly transfer your weight, circle your hands down two. Carry on, circle your weight, uh, transfer your weight forward three, hands up, fours, pounds, diagonally to the left. Okay, good, okay. Let's do that together. Okay, so this time is the correct side. Your hand is on the left. You raise your right leg, okay? Are you ready? Oh, squat down, step, diagonal right. Open right hand, one. Weight forward, hands down, two. Carry on forward. Hands up three and end pouncing four. Okay, good. Okay, so it isn't very difficult. All right, let's do that one more time. Ready? So one, two, three. Four. Now the next one is quite easy. We just carry on straight. We're going to clench two fist, bring it down to the front of the abdomen, and back foot step in, dangle a uh, step in one. Then we step back to that diagonal, diagonal angle where we pounce two, and then we want to punch the forward, and we follow step three. Okay. Let's do that again. Ready? Clench fist, pull in to the belly, step in one. Step up two, diagonal, then punch and follow step three. Excellent. That's not difficult, is it? <laughs> Let's do that one more time. Okay, good. One, two, three. Excellent. Okay, good. That is called Shuang Zhuang Chui. Double punch. Double punch means a double fist punching forward. And very clearly, it is a strike. Okay, so you just need to be clear about the steps. All right, now, next one. Next one is called yin yang hun yi, the integration of yin and yang. Sun Tzu Tai Chi, as I have introduced at the beginning, that it was a combination of characteristics, principles, theory, and philosophy of three major style of martial arts, namely Xing Yi, Bagua and Tai Chi. Not only Grandmaster Sun Lo Tang has combined the three martial arts together and the unique essence to create this Tai Chi style. It also takes on board of what we call Yi Jing, Dan Dao. So it means that the Book of Change, some of the principles and theories from the Book of Change, and it took on the practice of Dan Dao. Dan Dao means the Taoist practice of medicine, in a sense, in a way, in an attempt to prolong life and well being. Okay. Also, he took on Bagua and five element theories as well to create this unique exercise. And in Bagua and Yin Yang theory, there is always something called Yin and Yang. When they together, they, put, they, they are in a perfect combination. But when they start moving, they interact, 
the counter each other. So in to complement or in to counter each other. But at the end, they will come back to a perfect uh, combination again, which is where we're going to do. As if we've been a, a sort of a in, in motion, the Tai Chi circle is in motion in our body as we go through it. So when it comes to the end of the form, we need to bring the Tai Chi back together. But how do we do it? Let me show you from this end so you can see clearly, because once I turn, I'll be turning my back to you. So here, it's like this. For example, if you were a double punch, I would gently turn my fist to the front, but it's not just like totally fixed. What do I do? I actually turn both fists up at the same time. As I turn the fist up, I draw the right fist back slightly to the inside of the left arm, forearm, okay? This is number one. So one, turn and draw the right fist. Two, put the right fist back up to form a cross like this, but still facing up. Then what do we do next? We roll the wrist inward and out so that the left fist is outside to form like a binocular. Okay, but this time it's closed, yeah? Like this. Okay, this is called yin yang hun yi. Let's do that together. But this time I'm gonna be doing as a mirror. So I'm gonna to turn to this side. So you do the same facing me. Yeah, like this. Good. So turn, rotate and pull one left in front of right. So the right fist, this is my left, but I'm your mirror, remember? So your right fist is slightly behind the front, the left, inside the forearm. Two, go under and cross fist, roll back and out so that the left is outside. Excellent, okay. What about the step? The step is quite easy. Let me just show you the whole movement. This time, I'm going to form, go into the right direction so you can see how the step is being turned. Watch. Just like what we did always, toes in, toes out. A heel in, toes, a heel, toes in, heel in, toes out, yeah? Watch me. As we turn heel in and toes in, heel in, rotate fist. Toes in, pull the right fist back slightly. So at this point here, your feet should be more or less parallel. Okay, and then you already get to here. So it's two step, heel in, toes in, we get to here, okay? And then we step, step back and punch the right fist below to form a cross wrists. Sit back and roll the fist in and then out, and then adjust our foot on the heel, the front foot on the heel, like this. Yin yang hun yi, can you see? Okay, so let's do that together, everyone. Right till in, turn your fist. Left toes in, turn more. Step back and cross your wrist. Sit back, roll the wrists, adjust your heel, and finish. Yin yang hun yi, look. Okay, yin yang hun yi. Okay, good. All right, good. Let's do that once more, and then we do the very, very last one. Okay, are you ready? One. Two, three, four, roll your fist, and good. Okay, so I'm gonna turn back to you. You can stay there, don't move. And what is the next movement? I'm gonna do mirror again. This is your left foot. This is the left fist. Quite easy, left foot step back in, 
heel to heel, toes out at a 45 degrees angle. Open your fist. And then slowly rise up and lower your hands. That's the end, quite easy, yeah? Okay, let's do that once more. Step in, open fist. Rise up and lower down. Good, excellent. Right, okay, I hope uh, because time is quite tight. So uh, I hope you enjoy the training today. And uh, don't worry if you can't get the whole eight postures into your practice and your mind at this point, because hopefully in a few days, our great <laughs> assistant and admins will put it on YouTube, put the recording on YouTube so that you can play uh, you can play and practice. Before we finish today, uh, two things I would like to do. Number one, I would like to have two minutes of any questioning for the form, if you still have any questions. Do you want to ask question now, if you have any questions? If not, we'll go on to the next. So I'll give you another 10 seconds. If there's no questions about Sun Sao Tai Chi or any of the movements. Okay, fantastic. I think you probably still have to uh, digest it a little bit before you start having questions. This is a common thing. Many, many people try very well, work, work too hard and have so much to ask, but don't know where to start. <laughs> this is a common thing. So don't worry. And I would like uh, to ask uh, Ms. Chang or Ms. Dong uh, kindly play the demonstration of the 38 step. Thank you.
Thank you. See you. Right. Well done, everybody. I hope you enjoy the whole course. And uh, I hope you have also learned something from it and ready to prepare and ready to practice. And uh, hopefully after the new year, in the new year, we will do something more exciting. I will pass it back on to Ms. Zhang. Thank you very much, Zhang Lao Thank you very much for your wonderful lecture, Master Ye. And I thank all the participants for listening and watching our video. If you don't have any questions, we will close our lecture now. So if you have any further questions, you can contact us. And the lecture is recorded and will be available in the YouTube channel of De Yin Tai Ji Institute and our European Tai Chi Culture Center. Okay, thanks again, everyone. It's time to close our session today. Thank you, Martin here. You're yeah. welcome. Thank you, everyone. Take care Thank now. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you now. Bye bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, thank you, Zhang teacher. Thank you, thank you, Tong teacher. Thank you, Tong teacher. Ah, everyone, hard work. Ah, good. We'll see you next time. Okay. Bye bye. 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 Bye b